So in this video, we're taking a look at iOS 15.5 developer beta one. This is the initial developer beta for 15.5. It doesn't come with a ton of new features and changes, but there are definitely some to talk about here in this video. So let's go ahead and take a look at 15.5 beta one. So here it is, the first developer beta for 15.5, definitely something we've been looking forward to for quite some time with an OTA update just shy of six gigabytes. So the build number for this 15.5 beta one is 19F5047E for those keeping score at home. Now here's the first change that I'd like to talk about in 15.5 and that involves the wallet app. In fact, several of the changes involve the wallet app or something within that realm. So here you can see the Apple cash card. You have new request and send buttons conveniently located right there beneath the cash card. So this provides an easier way to request or send money using Apple cash. Now, the next feature I want to talk about, it's not really a feature, but just a subtle change. The physical card name, the heading has now been changed to titanium card. And you know, that kind of makes sense given the fact that the physical card, the Apple card is made of, you know, metal. Now I have to admit, I don't really use the titanium Apple card. What about you guys? Let me know down below in the comment section. But again, this thing's definitely metal. You can hear it just like that. Now let's talk about another change. Again, a subtle change in the messages app. Previously, you had an Apple Pay button that allows you to quickly send or request money, but now that's been changed to say Apple Cash. So when you tap that, you can send or request money using the buttons right here. So subtle change, but adds to the consistency. Now in the home app for your home pods, you're now going to notice signal bars for Wi-Fi strength. So this will help you to know how strong the Wi-Fi signal is for your HomePod, which is very convenient. Previously, it just told you the SSID, but now in 15.5, you actually know how strong the signal is, which can help when troubleshooting issues. Now, I also noticed this alert. I don't know if this is totally new, but this is the first time I've seen a permissions pop up for critical alerts related to the Home app. So of course, critical alerts were added in iOS 15 that allow you to receive alerts with the sound even when your phone is muted or even when it's in do not disturb or you're using a focus mode. So here is the critical alerts toggle within the preferences for notifications for the home app. And here is the normal non-critical alert permission pop up that you normally receive. So you can tell the difference there. Now, while we're on this screen, I just want to point out the home key and express mode pop up there. That's because I have a home key enabled device that being the Slag Co Plus. If you haven't seen the review of that, click the link at the end of the video. Now, also for 15.5, Apple is rebranding iTunes Pass as Apple Account Card in the Wallet app. And it comes with its own dedicated Apple Account Card, which you can use to access all the funds added directly to your Apple account. So again, this will be displayed within Apple Wallet, just like Apple Card and just like the Apple Cash Card. This way, instead of having to show a QR code when shopping in an Apple store, you'll be able to complete your purchase via Apple Pay and that card will feature a cool looking parallax effect as well. Now, here's some bad news. Now, I won't say bad, but maybe inconvenient news. If you're running this newest beta and you wanna use universal control, then all of your devices, that includes your Mac, will need to be on the latest beta. So for the Mac, that's 12.4 beta one uh, in order to use universal control. So that's just something to keep in mind. This iPad OS update does break universal control if you're running the older Mac OS 12.3. So ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about iOS 15.5 developer beta one? Let me know down below in the comments section with your thoughts. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.